what is going on everybody my name is Remox and uh, I'm gonna help you guys setting up some TSM operations um, these are gonna be some TSM tutorials um, on, on how to like set up pr operations and uh, make groups and stuff this episode is basically going to be um, setting up one specific group and how to set up like operations and stuff and how to make like a group it's gonna be really easy uh, everyone can do this um, because uh, everyone can do this at which at so, like a level doesn't really matter you can do it at level 1 you can do it with like only with like 50 gold because these items are not expensive what I have right here these are actually vendor items as you can see um, backsmithing hammer, jewelist kit, wooden stock, heavy stock, weak flux these are all like vendor items and they actually sell in the auction house because people are sometimes lazy to go to the vendor and they just buy it from the auction house so uh, yeah, let's make a group. Well, let's let's go to trade skill mask. You're gonna click on the icon right here. If you do not have the icon, you're gonna type slash TSM, enter, and you're gonna get the trade skill master add on up. Then you're gonna click on groups. Basically, uh, these are where you're gonna make your groups on what you wanna sell. So uh, let's make a group, a group name called um, vendor items, because these are the vendor items. And I'm gonna make in there, you're gonna click on management, and I'm actually gonna make a subgroup called vendor items one gold to five gold. What that basically means is uh, every single vendor item that's like between one gold and five gold, uh, you can actually put it in there and sell in the auction house. Well, it says between one gold and five gold. I know that the wooden stock is not between one gold, but the, you know the cheap items, the cheap items from the vendor items you can actually put that on there but it's like there's some other vendor items you can sell but you need to sell for like a higher price and that's why you say one gold to five gold but these other vendor items will be in another video I'll explain it to you um, but this is a really basic video everyone can do this on every single like, character uh, with the gold what you have at the moment but at the moment I have almost 1k gold well Frosty from my live stream actually donated me 1k gold to start me off So uh, that's really nice. Thank you very much for that um, And basically you're gonna click on vendor items 1 gold to 5 gold You're gonna be here. You're gonna click on items And you can actually add those items what you bought from the vendor blacksmithing hammer from the blacksmithing vendor of course These bold yellow shirts. There's a there's a couple of shirts in there. Bold yellow shirt, common gray shirt um stylish black shirt and the white traditional handbook these you can actually buy from the tearing vendor um, I would try I would try them out it's like these are like a couple of silvers each and um, yeah just post them and see if they sell uh, I sold before every single item ones in it I've sold them before so uh, crystal files from the alchemy vendor dust of disappearance and also the two of the clear mines and the vanishing powders uh, they sell um, you can just buy this from the Ma mammoth vendor or there's like other vendors where you can get them but I got them from the mammoth vendor um, then you have the formulas and there's also one pattern these you got from the enchanting vendor um, they can sell they're probably not being like fast sellers but they will sell eventually so you can actually put them out you only buy them for like a couple of silvers um, heavy stock you can buy it from the engineering vendor i'm pretty sure uh jewelers kit from the jewel crafting vendor um these lesser magic essence you can actually buy like two of those from the enchanting vendor S and it's only like a couple of silvers but if you post them on the auction house they actually sell for like a couple of gold so you can actually make a couple of uh maybe like a couple gold uh, profit from those so i would t try that out too don't add them though, like it doesn't really matter. Um, plain wood and staff. I got this from the inscription vendor. Simple wood. Um, I got this from. I'm not really sure. Where did I got this from? I'm spaced out, guys. Help. Um, I think you can also buy it from the mammoth vendor. I'm pretty sure. Uh, strong flux and weak flux also. And then you have the wooden stock. That's the other one. And then you have also yellow dine. Yellow dine you can buy from the um, um, alchemy. No, no, no. Inscription. No, tailoring vendor. Tailoring vendor. Yeah, from the tailoring vendor. 
And uh, that's basically it. You can actually find all those items of Wowhead if you don't know where to find those. Um, I will put a link in the description um, to Wowhead where you can actually search those items. And uh, you just click on add and that's basically it. Uh, Everything is added. These are the items and you're not going to add because these are just like items you have in your bags. And just, these are like I got from like killing mobs and stuff so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you actually set it up a group already guys. Congratulations if you did this. <laughs> um, now we're going to go to model operation. This is going to be the hard part basically. These are like, these are, this, is, this is the part where people sometimes fuck up. They, um, they have a lot of problems here. It's really easy though, but they have a lot of problems here and they don't, then it's like, man, TSM doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. But it's actually really easy to do. You're going to click on auctioning and you're going to go to operations. Then you're going to click on operation name. You're going to make a new operation and you're going to call it vendor items. But the one gold to five gold. So you know it's like the one gold to five gold. So you know it's like this. So you actually know it's the cheap items you're actually going to do. And you press OK. You're going to leave this. You're going to go to post. Then you can actually change the duration here. I would say 24 hours because it uh, probably will not be undercut it. Uh, post cap, I would say go max, doesn't really matter. I have them 500, doesn't really matter because you're actually just gonna put those on for like 20, so you can actually put it on 22. And they're gonna post as ones, so you're actually gonna post one of each. So um, it's not gonna be a stack of 20, it's gonna be a stack of one. So uh, that's what you actually need to keep in mind. Yeah. So this is uh, alright. Um, this, this is fine, keep quantity, you don't want to keep anything, you're going to put everything on the auction house. Uh, bit percent, I would say 95%, so it's a bit lower. Sometimes people bid on it, so it's actually sold already. But uh, people sometimes tend to bid, even if the item is like only one gold cheaper, people tend to bid. The undercut amount, I would say keep it on one cup, because there's not a lot of competition in there. If you have a lot of competition, um, I would say put it on two silver. Um, because otherwise, if you meanwhile when you're scanning the auction house and you're gonna post them, you maybe already been undercut because of that. You're doing, gonna do a one copper undercut, and that's why. But the, but for these items, there's not a lot of competition, so I would say one copper is fine. Um, there we go. It has to be. If it doesn't work, um, you need to check though. You see like a color, like G is like the yellow one, silver is like the gray ones and C is like the copper ones, the brown, like the brown ones. You need to see that the color changes, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, and now over here, this is like the trick part. A lot of people don't know what to put it on these. Uh, that's pretty easy though. It explains also here, you can actually check like a link to for more advanced methods. Um, but I will say which one I'm going to use here. So minimum price is going to be 110% vendor buy. What that basically means is you bought these for like, say you bought the um, blacksmithing hammer, you bought these for, how much is it, vendor sell price 3 copper. So it's actually going to calculate 110% above those 3 coppers. It's going to post on the auction house. That's going to be the minimum price at least. The normal price is going to be 19 gold. It's a really normal price, like, you're not gonna pay, like, it's already very expensive if you buy, like, a blacksmithing hammer at 19 gold. It's pretty, really, like, stupid why people buy that, but they still sell those. And the maximum price is gonna be 50 gold. You also need to keep in mind that these items are not, like, um, high sellers, of course, because these are actually, like, vendor items where you can buy for, like, a couple of silvers and a couple of copper, probably. So, uh... I maybe gave out for all these items maybe like two gold or something, so it's really cheap. Uh, and what you can do over here is when below when it's below minimum price, you're just gonna click don't post items because it's no use to post them if they're below minimum price. It sometimes depends, but that's more for transmog gear. But I'm not gonna go in there. I'm gonna I will go, be going in there in another video. And uh, when above maximum price, post them at maximum price. You can actually put it also on normal price to maybe sell it a bit faster. But I would say if it's above maximum price, it's going to be posted at maximum price. But that's, it's going to be a very low chance it's going to be above maximum price because 50 gold for like a blacksmithing hammer is pretty expensive already. Um, and that's basically it. 
this is how you made an operation. Now people want, people try to like, yeah man, I got an operation, let's go to the auction house and try to post him. But there's nothing there. People got this problem all the fucking time. And that's why, and you know why it is? Because you didn't connect the items. So you're actually gonna go back to your TSM. I'm gonna go in groups. I'm gonna click on the group that's called vendor items, one gold to five gold. And this is where you need to connect them. A lot of people forget this. Don't forget this, guys. You, a lot of people forget this. You're gonna click on override model operation. And you're gonna select the auction what you just created, the operation what you just created. And that's gonna be the vendor items, one gold to five gold. And that's basically everything what you had to do. Now it's connected and it's gonna say posting 500 stacks of one for 24 hours, cancelling undercuts auctioning auctions and to repost higher, not resetting. That's fine. Um, like 500 is a bit crazy, but it's because like it doesn't really matter what you're gonna take right there. It just has to post them at once, that's basically it. And now you're gonna go to the auction house, you're gonna click on auctioning over here. And it's gonna say your group. And you're gonna click on start post scan. And something happened over there. Item group is invalid. I have to check that really quick because I do not know why it happened. But it's still scanning. Just leave it scanning. It says already heavy stock, uh, posting and normal price, wooden stock. Um, posting and normal price, all that stuff. Scanning, scanning. Oh, there's something what's above the maximum price. Well, it's 50. Well, it's my, you can actually click on these with right mouse click. And let's see, check what is the lowest buyout. And um, this, okay, that one is like above maximum price, 68 gold. But if you post it at 50 gold, it's fine. So everything is actually going to be under, up there. As you can see, Crystal Vi is only 4 silver, 1 gold, 2 gold, 40 patterns, um, 19 gold for those shirts. And these are actually gonna post everything at normal price. And my normal price is 19 gold. So let's post those. You actually can click these, but you can actually also make a macro for that. But let's just first click them all. Doesn't really matter for now. I'm just gonna be clicking, 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 clicking. It's really annoying to do. This is really, really annoying. So you can actually make a macro for that. I will let you guys see it in a bit. But there's some problem with these items. There's like two items that have this problem, and it said here, did not post jewelry kit because your minimum price, 110% vendor buy, is invalid. Check your settings. Well, that's unfortunate because I do not know why there's a problem. But okay, we can actually fix that really easy. Um, so we're gonna go back to Trade Scar Master. Um, first we're gonna actually do um, I'm really quickly looking for something I'm sorry though that I need to look for this but there we go if you go to model operations and you're gonna go to auctioning, it's gonna say macro help. And you're gonna actually create macro and bind scroll wheel to it. So if you hold control one, you're gonna you're gonna hold control and you're gonna do up and down with your mouse wheel. You're gonna actually post all those items and you're not gonna click them anymore. So that's actually the easier way to do it. I would recommend this though. So something happened over here with my operation. So let's check. It says the vendor item does not it doesn't do it, apparently. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is something really silly because I do not know why it actually did this. But we're gonna press max and we're gonna do like a that sign. I don't know how they call it in English. <laughs> um, and you're gonna press a comma and then we're gonna say how much was the blacksmithing hammer? It was three copper and the jewel set is two silver. It's pretty weird why I didn't do that though. We're actually gonna say minimum price. Say one gold. No, 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 not not one gold. Takes fifty silver. There we go. Okay. 
So now it's actually going to take the maximum price of one of those two. So let's close that. Let's go to the auctioning again. Start post scan. Now it works. I have no idea why I didn't do it with the 110% uh, vendor buy. But this actually fixed it. So take the ones that I did before now. Um, it's going to be this one. Oh. So 110 max. 110% vendor buy, comma, 50 silver. Maximum price 50 gold, normal price 90 gold. And that's it. I'm going to post those. That's basically it. Uh, so I hope you guys learned something from this. And um, yeah. B subscribe to my channel um, to see some more TSM tutorials. And uh, also follow me on my live stream because I will be live streaming more. And uh, making some gold on the live stream if you guys want to hang on in that. It would be really appreciated. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.